me and Kaylee finally made it. What a view. What a vibe. Anyways, I'll show some uh, video from this adventure. I'm sweating. I need to eat some food, drink some water, get hydrated. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go to my room. And then at the end of this video, I will show some footage from this hike. What is up YouTube? So as you guys can see, or as I said in the beginning of this video, I will show some footage from that hike that I was on at the end of the video. However, I've been trying to hike as much as I possibly can before school starts. For me, I'm a junior in college and my school starts at the end of September. However, my niece and nephew, they already started school and I know most people start school around like the end of August, early September. So for that reason, I was kind of thinking and I just wanted to do a little back to school essentials video and talk about some items that you guys can get for reasonable prices. I know oftentimes on this channel I focus around clothing that is not always the easiest when it comes to accessibility, whether it be Supreme, Palace, or FTP. Obviously those items retail you can find for pretty reasonable prices, but they sell out and then once they sell out, obviously the resale market just gouges the prices and the prices shoot up for all three of those brands. Of course, retail, you can get shirts or items from those brands all under $50 regularly whenever they drop. However, it does sell out quickly. So if you are not at a computer at the time they are dropping, then of course you will miss out. However, this video is not going to be focused around hype or anything like that. It's just gonna be focused around essential items for those of you that may not be able to afford Supreme or Palace or other brands such as those. Now, it's only right since I'm talking about back to school essentials that I talk about today's sponsor, which is Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is a supporter of the channel. And of course, if you guys support the sponsor, it helps support the channel. I'm gonna leave a link to Dollar Shave Club in the description below. And honestly, Dollar Shave Club is a service that I genuinely recommend. For those of you that watch the channel, you guys know that I have have somewhat of a military background as well so I know exactly how expensive razors can get using the link below you can actually sign up for their service it starts out at five dollars and for only five dollars you actually get their razor you get these one wipe Charlie's which are actually super nice sorry I can't do that here I wasn't asking you to do anything low-key this probably isn't something that you really care to hear about but when you deploy, you don't always have access to good showers or even showers at all. So baby wipes or things like One Wipe Charlie's really come in handy. It comes with shave butter, a body cleanser, and replaceable razor heads. So trust me, for $5, you are getting an amazing deal. Definitely check out that link below. But I don't only want to focus on that from Dollar Shave Club because they do have a lot of other things as well. In fact, although I don't have it in right now because I just got out of the shower, they have hair gel, they have a ton of other things and I genuinely think that their product is amazing, especially for the price. And if you travel or if you're on the go, they have little travel versions of basically everything on their site. So huge thank you to Dollar Shave Club. Like I said, make sure you check out that link below. Support the sponsor, which supports the channel and it helps me to continue to create content. Also, if you support the channel, make sure you smash that like button, especially if you want me to include more footage from my outdoor adventures. That stuff does take a little bit more time, but I have been seeing a lot of requests from you guys basically asking for me to include that kind of stuff. And if you guys keep smashing the like button and you guys keep supporting these videos, then I will keep including that stuff in these types of videos. So anyway, some back to school essentials. Now you don't need to wear Supreme or Palace or any of that stuff to look good at school. In fact, depending on where you live, it might not even make sense for you to wear Supreme. For example, I gave my nephew some clothing and he was saying that when he wears the Supreme that I've given him, that people actually just assume it's fake because all they know about Supreme are box logos. They basically don't know anything about the brand and they have no idea what they're talking about because they're like eighth graders. You probably don't have to deal with that in the city where people tend to I guess care about their style a little bit more and also know about those brands. But usually the pieces that I've gotten him are basic pieces. They're not anything over the top. They're not anything crazy. They're just pieces that if he ruins, it's not a big deal. I'm not going to go give him a $700 box logo. And I think that's crucial to keep in mind. At the end of the day, a clean fit, I mean, is not really that expensive. You can rock some black old schools or any color old school vans. You can wear a freaking plain black pair of Levi 501 denims with the freaking black gilded and tee. And you're going to look good. You're going to look stylish. It's going to be a clean, simple fit. Nothing over the top, nothing too crazy, and you don't need to spend a ton of money to achieve that look. So some back to school essentials. First, of course, you got to have the shoes right. I remember back when I was in school, I was really broke. We didn't have money to afford certain things. So oftentimes the shoes that I got, first of all, I got one pair of shoes 
that had to last me all year. If I was able to get new shoes, of course, usually they were from Ross for like 20 bucks. Like one year I found two pairs of Vans XR1s, I believe they were called, and they were 20 bucks a piece. I got both pairs and they lasted me for two straight years. Mind you, I used to be a mech, so I tore through shoes, but I just made it work. But there are a lot of essential clean shoes that you can get for reasonable prices. And in fact, a lot of the shoes that I tend to wear are a little bit on the cheaper side. For example, Vans Old Schools, Vans Skate Highs, Converse One Stars. Granted, a lot of the ones that I wear are collaborations, so they're a little bit more limited, a little bit more rare, and oftentimes a little bit more expensive, but you can find the basics of these shoes for usually under $50. In fact, there's a sale currently going on on Slam Jam Socialism. I believe that's the full website name. I actually ordered some stuff from there and they have a bunch of other stuff. So they have shoes on sale, like they have a pink pair of old schools. They have a couple other pairs of old schools and Vans Authentics and just different shoes that are all under $50. In fact, a lot of them are like 30 bucks. Now here's an example of some of the Vans skate highs I would wear. This is the inside out pack. I believe retail was actually only like 85 bucks, maybe a little bit more, maybe a hundred. I don't recall, but they weren't too crazy retail. Now a resale is a little bit more expensive, but just in general, a lot of these shoes you can find for reasonable prices. You can find the same silhouettes. It may not have the zipper, it may not have little tiny touches that are cool, but it's still a clean, looking shoe. This right here is a Vans Stussy collaboration, one of my favorite old schools actually as you can see it just has this branding around the midsole, it says Stussy International in like a small print, super clean color, I like this cream color a lot. And I have a ton of different collaborations between Vans and other brands like Double Taps, I actually have two pairs of Double Taps. Since I'm talking about them I might as well show them, I have both of these, these were 85, I do not remember what these retailed for. but. My point is, is that you can find reasonably priced shoes if you are looking. And if you are paying attention to drops, you can get shoes like this that are 85 bucks. And then of course you can wear them, you can get your use out of them and sell them for close to what you paid for. Now when I was a kid, there was no way in hell my mom was gonna buy me an $85 pair of shoes. It was literally definitely not going to happen no matter what I did. But regardless, depending on your financial situation, you may be you may be able to afford a little bit more money. And if you can't, like I said, you can get a pair of Vans Old Schools for like 30 bucks right now. And they're clean too. They're like a really nice pastel pink colorway with a gum sole. It's kind of like a lighter version of this Supreme Nike SB. So definitely keep that in mind. Obviously shoes are always an essential when you're going to school. Everyone wants a fresh pair of kicks, especially for their first day. Also when it comes to shoes, if you do get anything from Slam Jam Socialism, make sure you check out the sizing tab because all of their sizing is in European sizing. However, it does have a little sizing chart that actually shows you the conversion. So if you're in the US and you're buying from Slam Jam Socialism, you can use that little conversion chart to show the different sizes or show basically what size of 42 will be in a US men's size or woman's size. Now if you go to Levi's.com or Urban Outfitters, you can find Levi 501s for I believe between 50 and $100. However, I would honestly just wait and go to places like JCPenney's or PacSun and try to find these same pairs of denim for a cheaper price or find them on sale because usually you can find them for less than 50 bucks. PacSun actually has a ton of denim options for less than 50 bucks. They have their in-house brands and they do have a lot of different kinds of denim that are a little bit stretchier. I will leave a link to PacSun in the description below. I'm gonna leave a link to basically everything that I talk about down in the description. But for your pants, if you're on a budget, I'd recommend just clean essential pants. So maybe a clean essential pair of blue jeans, a clean essential pair of black jeans, and you know maybe one or two other different washes of blue or maybe two pairs of black depending on how clean you like to keep your black denim. Of course, over time when you wear them, they'll start to fade, they'll start to wash, they'll start to distress. Personally, I like that, but I know everyone is, you know, they have their own taste. Some people might just like it to be straight, black, no fading whatsoever. You do not need a pair of Supreme denim that is obviously overpriced. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind Supreme denim, but it's not even like it's the best denim out there and it's like a hundred something dollars. So I just would recommend going with some Levi 501s. Now. Onto the tops. You can find some, you know, on sale pieces. For example, back to that Slam Jam Socialism sale, they do have an APC t shirt, right? That's 30 bucks. And normally those are 70 or $80. I think they only have two of them one small, one large. They also have some other tees, like they have a collaboration between Rocket and Pleasures, which are both pretty sick brands that I support and like. And you can find t shirts that are branded for less than 50 bucks. Obviously, that's not even a concern. You could wait till the Supreme Summer Tees drop and those are going to be $34 to $38. However, you can actually get tees a lot 
cheaper than that. For example, a lot of people have done videos on this. You can actually just go to Guild and buy blank tees, buy blank black tees and all sorts of different colors if you want to get some summer vibes or whatever. Depending on the weather for where you live, you can get different colors to kind of, you know, give a vibe for that season. Whether you like to wear more olive colors, dark green, whether you like to wear sunny, like more summer colors, like bright yellow, pink, whatever, you can get tees for like five to ten dollars. Like I said before, you don't need to wear crazy brands to look stylish or look good at school. It's okay to like those brands. I mean, I am obviously a supporter of a lot of those brands. I'm wearing Kith right now. It's another brand that's pretty popular, pretty hyped at times, but I just want to stress to you guys, you don't always need to worry about the hype. That's not what determines the kind of person that you are. Now I'll leave a link to some Gildan tops down below and I'll leave some links to some tops that I personally like from the Slam Jam Socialism sale. A lot of those are really limited. Like I know one of the Rocket Pleasures tees that I like, they only have a small left, like one small. So obviously keep in mind those are a little bit more limited. We got shoes, we got pants, we got shirts, and now we need some headgear and some accessories. So for the headgear, for me personally, I live in the Pacific Northwest. It gets pretty cold in here, so beanies are a must during the winter time. Now, once again, going to that sale, Slam Jam Socialism, you can almost always find beanies for a reasonably priced, but some people want some name brand beanies, right? Some people want to flex a little bit. Maybe you have an all clean fit, but you want one piece like a Carhartt beanie or a double taps beanie. You can actually get reasonable prices on those as well. Like I said, always look out for sales when it is back to school season. And I would recommend buying out of season. So for example, you should actually do your back to school shopping way ahead of time or just in general, like try to save your money when you know those sales are going to happen so you can be ready and prepared for when they do. But for example, this orange Carhartt beanie, a super good deal. This double taps wool beanie, not as good of a deal, but if you like Japanese brands and you want to, I guess, show your love or show your support for fashion or those brands, then you can buy that and it's also on sale and a lot cheaper than normal. You can also get some hats as well though, like one hat that I noticed on that sale that I really liked was actually a brain dead hat. And uh, Brain Dead is a pretty sick brand. It's a brand that I've been following for a while. I don't have a whole lot of stuff from them. I have a tee and a hoodie and that's about it. Another great place to look for beanies or headgear, of course, is Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters, PacSun, all those places will have a lot of different beanies. Granted, they may be a little bit more common at school and a little less exclusive just because those stores are a lot more popular than you know Slam Jam Socialism and they don't have the same selection. Now, last but not least, of course, are backpacks, wallets, card holders, whatever and the best budget brand for that I have to say is Herschel. I have used a Herschel wallet for quite some time. This card holder is so old and it has lasted me so long. This video is not sponsored by any of the brands that I mentioned. Obviously the only sponsor in this video is Dollar Shave Club. I've never had a sponsorship with Herschel. This thing has lasted me so long. I've put it through the works. It's never given me any issues and it's just a really durable little card holder like it's something that I would definitely recommend and honestly it's not just their card holders or wallets that are cheap but they also have really affordable backpacks fanny packs shoulder bags whatever right now they have backpacks on Urban Outfitters for I believe $45 now for me personally when I was in high school I was rocking Jan Sports but Herschel's kind of the wave now and honestly like I don't even know if Herschel was popping back then or if it was like a brand back then I don't, I, I never saw anyone with Herschel bags back in the day, but I know it's a brand that's gotten relatively popular over the last decade, and I will say their stuff is quality, so I cannot recommend them enough. Once again, I will leave links to everything I have discussed, including the bags down in the description below, so make sure you check out those links, and most importantly, make sure you check out that top link and support today's sponsor. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys like this hiking footage. Like I said, if you want me to include more vlog footage of just little adventures that I do like hiking up mountains and of course make sure you smash that like button thank you so much for the support peace out all right guys so we are hiking Mount Pilchuck today and I'm pretty excited because it looks like it's a clear day and the thing with Mount Pilchuck is it's often covered by clouds so it's kind of hard to see from the peak but I'm quite excited because it looks clear I'm hoping it's clear I hope we get some good views I've wanted to do this for like two years but every time I try it's always covered by clouds. She has the same issue. She's kind of like my lookout because she lives near here. So I'm always like, hey, is it covered? And she's like, yeah. So <laughs> every time I'm sad, but we are finally hiking it. So let's take you guys on for the ride and you guys can see some of the great views of Washington State.
I'm dripping sweat, we're about to eat dinner on Mount Pilchuck. I just made it the top. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> shit.